Uh, hello Taros, uh, thank you so much for being here. Welcome into my channel. This is Sage, Sunset Healing Tarot. I'm gonna get some love messages for the sign of Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. So we're gonna get some love messages for Taurus using these beautiful divine tarot cards. Here, welcome in Taurus. I hope that you're doing well. Welcome back to my channel. <clears throat> Let's get some messages for Taurus in love. Messages for Taurus in love. What stars going through in love? Judgment card. Taurus message in love. Moving on, leaving. Is moving, choosing, deciding to move on. Judgment card. Uh, then we have chariot, knight of wands, eight of pentacles, six of swords card. judgment card like something is going to work out in your favor something is going to come to light and you're going to see that you really deserve uh, maybe to move on as if you ought to move on but you're not taking authority you're not taking us you're you're not taking up your position of authority maybe in your own life to move on at this point Maybe you don't want to move on. Maybe you don't want to have to stand up. Maybe you don't you want to be you want to surrender. Maybe in love right now. You know, maybe you don't feel so fabulous at this point and you just want to be. Hmm. So I feel like you're not seeing a lot of things around you to be grateful for, to be thankful for. There's always things to be thankful for, Taurus, you know. So find a little things and be appreciated. But I feel like you're not really seeing signs of what you of emotional fulfillment maybe you need some emotional support right now could be from your family or in your relationship so there's not a lot a lot going on emotionally right now maybe in your relationship maybe something is coming to an end you know maybe your relationship is coming to an end because it feels like there it's at a stalemate where you're really just um like you lay down your weapons, you're not really fighting anymore, you're just allowing things to be. And then if you're not nurturing something, it's going to die. See? Because your your energy of the past is the sun card, and that is a, a happy a happy marriage, a happy relationship. That is a happy life, ma um, material success and abundance too, being joyful. But maybe you're not seeing that, maybe you had to leave that because we do have the card of migration here. And we have the card of moving out, moving into calmer waters. And so, Taurus, maybe you had to move past that situation. Some of you could just be wanting time alone, wanting time to evaluate, to really see where your life is going, taking time to reflect, to look at all that you've gathered, all that you have manifested in this time, to there's something like a higher calling for you here and you're wanting to explore that. Maybe that's why you want to move on, but maybe you're not really communicating that clearly. What could be holding you back is your family. You just don't want to lose connection with your children, your child. But the basis of this is I think something is ending. And for some of you, there's brand new beginnings. You know, because when something ends, brand new beginnings come through not doing these reversals oh but i already started so all right let's look at them in the upright position here 
okay so in operate the messages are a little bit different there is something ending moving out moving on like moving into the new right maybe you want to move into the new maybe you're deciding to stand up for yourself and move forward wanting to feel good we have the ace of pentacles so you feel you feel wealthy i feel like you receive some inheritance some financial abundance you are very financially stable and abundant here that like this is a lot of money <clears throat> this is a lot of money coming into you or that already came into you <clears throat> the healing card so maybe in your surroundings though there's a lot of healing going on or there needs to be healing in equal give and take in order to have a balance in your relationship your home life needs to be balanced equal giving and take nurturing each other spending time with each other just participating in activities that each the other person enjoys doing and giving yourself over wholesomely and there's a lot of value here you feel like you have a lot to give maybe you feel like you have a lot to do you feel like you are definitely coming into stability in how you feel about yourself glowing up feeling good having a lot to be thankful for you're wanting your wish fulfillment here you're wanting your emotional support and love oh my maybe you're hoping to be with a cancerian or you're hoping to get married for some of you hoping to settle down wanting to really tap into your higher nature using your intuition to move forward Please clarify the seven of cups. Clarify the seven of cups. Seven of cups energy. Hmm. <laughs> and at the bottom of the deck, we have the queen of wands. So what came out for the seven of cups, the king of wands, the ace of swords, And I'm wanting to move out and move on or to move into. There's someone that you're attracted to. Someone that's attracted to you. That person is going to, you're going to be coming into connection with that energy soon. Queen of Cups clarification, please. Taurus is love reading. Queen of Cups clarification. We have the Ten of Swords. We see a lot of brand new beginning cards coming up. So because the Ten is the, the end and also the beginning. So the end of turmoil, of pain, of heartbreak. And then, yes, you might be still going through this energy, but it's gonna to come to an end. This energy could be between you and a toxic connection, or it could be between you and a, a, a strong love, twin flame energy you guys can feel and sense each other here that is your queen of swords energy so this could all um either be something that hurts you or love you a lot and with the cancerian energy the or the water energy cancer pisces scorpio it's normally a very nurturing energy motherly intuitive intelligent just a beautiful connection coming in one that will bring healing to you this person will be able to level you up just by being who they are that's the cancerian energy the cancerian pisces scorpio energy in love and then if that is your twin flame that will be very beautiful for you this is the sun card clarify the sun card please I'm wondering if some of you want to leave a current marriage behind so that you can either go, go off on your own to do your own soul searching and your own healing or some of you want to go and meet someone else keep your options open work on yourself still oh my gosh 
Ooh. Maybe your past, the past that you're leaving behind is upset at you for leaving. Oh my God, look at all these cards. Three major arcanas came out with the Ten of Cups energy. The Ten of Cups energy is family. Maybe some of you are leaving your family behind. You're married, have two children, are just in a real strong, committed relationship between a what it's a water sign and you or that's an earth sign and you there two children your land your home there's just all this beauty here in fulfillment for like the life that you desire to live with this person i feel like that's your past energy with the piscean card the hangman also came out for the to, to clarify the sun card the hangman is piscean energy the hangman is just being intuitive in contemplation mode soul searching this is a high priestess card not moving also these are beautiful cards of intuition maybe this was a very fortunate marriage for you very successful prosperous and fortunate marriage maybe the person that you were dealing with was in fact a water sign and has prophetic abilities able to see what's happening even before they do a very fortunate marriage um, so if this is what you're leaving behind to start the new, maybe, so, you know, there's, there's, there's also great, a great connection in your future, whatever you're moving toward. Um, there's also connection from heavenly realms, and that's you connecting with your deep self, um, really con diving within your soul self, soul searching, right? coming up with the answers that you need to help to get you through in this time I feel like maybe your mate is able to sense you and you're able to sense your mate sometimes they see you coming beautiful connection on the horizon for you you're currently feeling good about yourself except there's there's just also a feeling of loss just wanting to move into the brand new you will be you will be successful let's just confirm that with the cards here Taurus messages in love. Wow, the four of hearts. For me, the four of hearts is two of souls energy. Two, two, four, two of hearts energy, a twin flame soulmate connection. That's what it feels like to me. That's also being grounded in your heart, knowing what is good for you, what is not. But I feel like you're going to be really triumphant, especially financially. There's something of financial abundance coming in to you. It could be an inheritance. We do have another soulmate energy here present with the two, the king and the queen of swords. Any last confirmation, please? Last messages. Last confirmation. Oh my gosh! Last confirmation. Look. And then the king and the queen of pentacles. Wow. So there's definitely a soulmate connection here with you and a person that could be Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. I see little bits of swords too, right? So that's Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Oh my. Thank you so much for being a part of this reading, Paris. I hope that you found messages here that resonate with you and are able to help guide you along your journey in love. Remember, Taurus, that you can be, do, have everything and anything in this world that you desire because you're all and all is within you. Much love. Take care. Bye.